California is finally seeing a decrease in coronavirus cases after becoming the first state to pass 700,000. But that optimism may be short-lived. Officials now warning of a possible third wave this fall, and those most at risk will be low-wage essential workers, students, undocumented health care workers, all uniquely at risk. MSNBC's Jacob Soboroff is the author of the New York Times bestseller, Separated, Inside an American Tragedy, and he has been tracking these new concerns for us. Jacob, take us through why these groups in particular are uniquely at risk. Well, you know this, Chris, uh, as well as I do from your time out here in California. We have an enormous population of undocumented residents, L.A. County, one million undocumented residents alone. And with no assistance from the federal government in response to the coronavirus pandemic for that specific group, uh, this group of people who is caring for medically vulnerable people are also uniquely vulnerable insofar as that they're both medically and financially vulnerable uh, to huge ruin. Watch this. This cell phone video was given to us by a Filipino caretaker who shares a two-bedroom apartment in Los Angeles with six other health care workers, four of whom are undocumented. See, you can see the, the shoes. So many people live here. They live together to save money. But tight living conditions also prove risky, and they live in constant fear of contracting COVID. Now this is the bedroom. Both from their workplace and at home. In California, it's not unusual for frontline health care workers to be undocumented. Many serve as caregivers in nursing homes, where more than 40 percent of COVID deaths in the U.S. occur. We met three of them on a recent morning after they just finished up a 12 hour night shift. All three of you are undocumented. Where are you from? Philippines. 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 Nearly 20 percent of California's nurses are Filipino. And while Filipinos account for about a quarter of Asian residents in California, they have a disproportionately high percentage of COVID deaths amongst this group. And a new nationwide study found Asians join Black and Hispanic communities as some of the hardest hit from COVID, with deaths in each group up at least 30 percent this year over the past five year average. And for those who are undocumented, there's the added burden of being ineligible for any federal relief despite being labeled essential workers. On top of COVID, uh -huh. you have a life as an undocumented yeah. Yeah. health care worker. That's also the biggest problem being undocumented. Yeah. We cannot get the stimulus. We, can get, we cannot file for un uh, um, unemployment. We don't know what will happen for the next month. We might be homeless. You, you said homeless. I'm right over there. I'm just looking at homeless people sleeping in the park behind you in the yeah. tents. In you really think that there's a chance that you could end up on the street? Yes, honestly. So you're saying you have no choice because you're undocumented, but to go back to your jobs in a place where you could very well get COVID. Yeah. Yes. yes, that's right. Aki Soriano started the Filipino Worker Center to help undocumented workers from the Philippines and has seen COVID ravage her community. Undocumented workers in uh, doing home care and as domestic workers are still very, very much um, needed right now. So they're essential workers. It's this paradox of being on both undocumented, but also clearly essential workers. That's right. And so it just brings to light even more all of the problems that uh, undocumented workers are facing. So you're saying this is not in isolation, an undocumented problem or even a COVID problem. This is the overlap of multiple problems at once. That's right. And this crisis right now just uh, shows um, all of those intersections. And so Given that, <laughs> we need to make sure that these jobs are good jobs so that they actually can afford decent housing, so that they can actually afford health care and transportation. A couple things, Chris. Uh, obviously, we kept their identities confidential because of their uniquely vulnerable uh, situation as undocumented health care workers. Uh, the Filipino Workers Center has already lost, uh, and when I say lost, I mean uh, to death, five colleagues to the coronavirus. Uh, and it, what I really want to underline is that while a vaccine, of course, is the solution ultimately uh, to the virus, uh, the problems that these workers face will not end there. The Filipino Workers Center uh, is very clear about what they need, both a living wage uh, and good jobs that help them get out of those cramped living conditions. Um, and, and how critical that is cannot be underlined uh, uh, enough, but also just the support of a revamped immigration system so that they can come out of the shadows and seek help not be scared uh, and ultimately face a future like their colleagues have. 
it's unconscionable that we have so many people doing essential work, truly essential work, and they're in the situation that you described. Jacob Soboroff, as always, thank you for your reporting. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.